Hello, this is the seventh ready option play pattern. When I first created and uploaded a video about the ready option play, I didn't think I'd get to the seventh pattern. Now that I've been doing this and that, it's the seventh time I've ever played the red option. I think this is a similar concept to the fourth read option, the speed option. The running back and quarterback, which can be ball carriers, proceed in the same direction and decide who will be ball carriers according to the movement of the detents and players. In the speed option, the quarterback was an inside run and the running back was an outside run. While in this read option play, the quarterback is an outside run and the running back is in charge of inside run inside. And the coaches who are watching this can think of it as similar to the read option play that I showed you for the third time. However, the reason for the separation is that the third play was a perfectly distinct path between the inside and the outside, with the A gap and the open gap, while the C gap and the open gap set the path inside and outside the defense and player, making it more difficult for the defense and player. This read option play pattern is also one of the more difficult patterns for defenders to cope with because it's a relatively less -less pattern. The following will show you how to deploy this read option play. This play pattern will also read the movement of the defense and player and deploy the play. When the defense and competitor enters, the quarterback keeps the ball to the outside and gives the ball to the running back if using the contain technique outward. If a defense and player can't decide who's going to be the ball carrier, it's going to be even more problematic. I think it's better to give the ball to the running back when this happens. The reason is that when you become a ball carrier and quarterback, the yard may be retreated, depending on the situation, but the running back rarely appears due to the forces moving forward. Let me show you what happened when you use the zone block. I think the man block will do better than the zone block. The man block allows the guard on the back side to pull to and force to the play. Also, the offense line on the play side has a relatively simple advantage because it only needs to give the back side direction down block. On the other hand, the zone block may need to be cut back depending on the situation, so the man block sheet may be simpler. Of course, football doesn't have the right answer, and there's a lot of different things going on in the field.